Thanksgiving family. Welcome to the bank. Beautiful fall morning here in Florida. Not a cloud in the sky. And there's a group of wild turkeys out here. You guys better head for the woods or you're going to end up on somebody's platter here in a couple weeks. Hey everybody, it's Mark the Lost Traveler. And we're ready to travel. A pink elephant with sunglasses. We're at Ron John's Surf Shop here in Cocoa Beach, Florida. One of the world's largest surfing stores. Got some great sculptures out here. You got this kid out here skateboarding and the girl rollerblading. Guy over here surfing. Ooh, they're all ready for Christmas. Hello. Oh, look at these guys. The Christmas tree going here. A lot of surfboards to choose from. Everything surfboards. Of course, that's what you'd expect in a giant surf shop. Wetsuits, everything. And if surfing's not your thing, they have a lot of skim boards. Or even skateboards. Plenty of clothes to choose from. T-shirts bathing suits footwear yeah, they even have their own airplane an indoor tropical oasis coming to a galaxy near you stormtrooper policeman with radar gun. This is a really cool mural here at Sandbar Sports Grill. And we're gonna go inside and have a fish taco because why? It's the home of the fish taco. It's a pretty cool entrance. Going into some giant gorilla teeth. A lot of crazy stuff on the walls here. More surfboards. Hey, it's the most interesting man in the world. I guess he's been here. Well, if you don't want to eat inside, you can always come outside and eat. And after that, take a walk across the parking lot to the Atlantic Ocean. Out here visiting the SpaceX Launch and Landing Control Center and there's a museum out here also. Inside Major General Harry J. Sands Jr. Space Museum. A little history of all the space exploration medals, uniforms, there's the man. Inside the museum, there are 47 launch pads. And as you can see on the wall there, each one are numbered and it gives a history of that launch pad from one to 47. And right now, there's only three active launch pads, 37, 40, and 41. And today's Atlas V rocket launch will be from pad 40. There's all the different Delta rockets. Some 
base X. And the middle one there is going to be the Atlas V rocket, which is going to launch today around 5.30. We even have some Star Trek memorabilia. This is an actual Mercury test capsule. This is an Atlas F series booster engine. Some of the pictures on the wall of how that thing runs. This is the Launch Complex 19 console, which was a vehicle test console used to check out the Titan rockets, which served as boosters for the two manned Gemini missions. It would give status on the water control and system functions. This is a dummy nuclear warhead that was found out off the west coast on an island somewhere and when I asked some of the guys here they're not really sure how it even got here and they didn't have much information on it but that's all they had for this thing wow look at this fair lane here beautiful it's like mint condition Got his girls up here. Cruising around with the top down. Another great sunset. We're all out here waiting for the Atlas V rocket to take off. Got a big crowd out here. Right over there, seven miles away. Got a good crowd here on a Saturday night. T minus 10, 9, okay. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Noah's Nose Ark, America's most advanced weather eye in the sky. Elevating environmental intelligence to new heights and saving lives. Well, this is what you deal with after a rocket launch. Tons of traffic. After another successful Atlas V rocket launch, we're heading back to Orlando. Traveler out.